The look of your store is key. If you want to drive sales, then a polished, good-looking store is a must. It's not like real-life dating. You don't have time to woo your customers with your charming personality. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's all about the looks. So you need to be able to customize every bit of your store to match your brand. You need to be able to place each app where it looks the best and where it's most efficient. Unfortunately, that isn't as easy as it seems. But I may have a solution for you. Hello again, welcome back to the channel. As always, my name is Kostin and today I'm going to show you one very cool feature of Vitals that will make your life easier and your store prettier. And that is the Vitals Editor. The great thing about the Vitals app is that you have the option to customize the position of most apps on the page. So without further ado, let's get to it. You can find the editor on the left hand side. All you have to do is click it and you'll be taken to a new page. Here you have a preview of your store. Let's go through the layout real quick. On the left you have a list of all the apps you have activated in Vitals that are compatible with the editor. Please be aware that not all apps show up in the editor. Pop-ups show up over the page, so there's no point in adjusting the placement here. An announcement bar for example does not show up even if it's active, as it's either over the header or floating. For the apps that aren't compatible with the editor, you can find placement settings within the apps themselves. Another point here is that only the active apps show up in the list, just to keep things neat and tidy. So the countdown timer is currently active. If I disable it, go back to the editor and refresh the page, it's gone from the list. Moving along, here at the top you can select on which page you want to make the changes, either on the product pages or on the home page. As you can see, once I switch to the home page, the list on the left automatically updates and you're only left with the apps that work on the home page. You also have a save button and you can also preview your changes on the store rather than seeing them in the preview below. Let's go back to the product pages since we have more available apps there and see how the editor actually works. In the preview, you can see where the apps are currently placed. In order to change an app's position, all you have to do is click on it and you'll automatically be taken to its current placement. Now we have three options. We can select the placement of the app, either near the add to cart form, add to cart button, product description or product end section. The add to cart button and the product descriptions are self-explanatory. The add to cart form is this area around the add to cart button that also includes the option selectors, the quantity field. This will allow you, for instance, to display the stock scarcity app right after the price on this page. The product end section is that side-wide section over here that sits after this main section that includes all the information related to the product. Pictures, names, pricing, the add to cart form and the product description. As you can see, once you click on any of the options, the position moves on the page. Once you select your desired position, you can set the app to show up either before or after. So we placed it near the product end section and we have it set before it. Thus, it's on the top of the section. If we move it after, the app will jump below the product end section. The last option allows us to choose if the app should be a part of the section we selected or as a separate section. Now this may sound a bit confusing but it will become clear once you see it. So right now we have the app set on the outside. As you can see, it is not within the dotted lines which represent the margins of the end product section. If I move it inside, this is what happens. See, the app is now within the dotted lines, so it's a part of the end product section. If we're happy with our placement, we can save the changes and preview them on the store. The stock scarcity app should be the very last thing we see. Yep, here we go. The three options are standard among all apps. Depending on the placement, the inside-outside option might or might not show up. For example, the product end section has both of them. The add to cart button though only has before and after, since you can't position apps inside of the add to cart button. That's how the Vitals editor works. It's straightforward and an awesome tool to customize your pages. It's worth mentioning that if you'd like an app to be placed in a position that is not present in the drop down list, you can always reach out to our support team and they'll be happy to help. They're only a click away, available 24 7 via email and chat. With that, I'd like to thank you for tuning in today and for thumbing up the video and subscribing. Until next time, take care.